good afternoon guys it's morning for me but i'm sure by the time you're watching this it is the afternoon Ugh, the cat just scared me oh my goodness um i am at the front of my garden because aiden ended up filling all of these forever garden beds that i have around the perimeter with the exception of two and with compost that's what he filled it with compost but some of the beds i told him not to fill because i had to do some work in them but he forgot and filled them anyway like these two beds right here that i have um where my roses are and so he's buried them too deep and i wanted to add more soil in there i just didn't want to add it now because i knew that you look right there so He's filled it back up to the top, which it was like halfway down. And I did want to fill the beds, but I wanted to lift up the roses before he filled them. But he just went ahead and filled them because he didn't know that I said he forgot. So I'm going to go ahead and dig that rose out and lift it just so that the crown and all there's like about this much buried underneath. And the same thing for this one over here. So I have a shovel over there, but let me turn you around and show you all of the beds that he got filled i did post a picture on instagram um i think today showing how beautiful all of the beds look so all of the beds i did end up planting the asparagus that we trans uh transplanted and picked from the garden beds up there i did plant one bed right here because once i planted the two forever garden beds in the orchard area right there we still had enough crowns so i planted one bed right here and then i think i had about five more crowns but i'm gonna plant a smaller bed but i was waiting till we got more soil so that is why you see asparagus hanging out of this bed because there's asparagus hanging here we just went ahead and ripped up the cucumber that had died here and you can see we even threw some out that way the kids did he filled that one he filled this one all of the basils that were in this raised or this um what is it called the in-ground garden bed right here in this pathway that's why you see it's all messed up because all the basil had died and they my kids took out all of the basil and then we ended up planting them or not planting them but throwing the dead leaves into this bed and then aiden covered it with soil so my hope is that they're gonna break down and by spring if i have to fill like a little bit with soil once the basils break down that's fine but just trying to top dress and prepare my beds now for spring and then the same thing with this bed this bed and this one and if you remember i did sprinkle carrot seeds in all of these beds and so there were some carrot seeds growing in some of those beds but not nearly enough to want to save it and wait to when i had the opportunity to fill fill the compost on top it was only about like five to ten carrot seeds that had sprouted and so i just went ahead since we had the time and the opportunity now and the compost to fill those beds and you know i can plant more carrot seeds on top if i wanted to but i definitely didn't want to hinder um preparing those beds just because they had like five to ten carrot seeds sprouted in them and I did show you guys, even though we've had a couple frosts, this tomato plant is still kicking it. So he just added some soil on top of there. And this hat, this bed also had potatoes I showed you guys planted in there. And we just, I went ahead, added some dead basil plants on there and then some compost on top. This is another bed I have to work in because he covered this plant right here. This plant was really, this is a, wow, that's really deep deeper than I was expecting. So I wanna come over here and dig this plant out and plant it on the top. This is an oregano. And then he filled this bed and he started to fill this bed, but ran out of soil. And then these are the last two beds that he didn't get to fill. My thought process with these beds were that I could use the shovel, lift them up, and then have Nehemiah hold it lifted up so that I can just then push some soil underneath where i broke the roots and lifted up the plant and then just kind of pack it back down and then when it rains hopefully it will fill in all of those air gaps and it worked out actually really perfect by just lifting those plants and i lifted until i could see the where roots were coming out so it made it perfect and it lifted a, a good i feel like six inches and then i did the same thing with the oregano except for the oregano i couldn't really find it um for the most part but i did have um 
just break it apart and then just kind of sweep some soil underneath it and i think it's just going to work out fine just because it is a perennial and it grows back and it was definitely trying to take over this bed so i think it will be great lifting the oregano and then trying to throw some soil underneath it was a little more challenging because it is a runner so it's like really flat to the ground especially like right in here we still Ooh. a lot of it was still covered but for the most part we did try and lift the plant and I'm sure I planted this like with just like probably it was probably this big and twigs and it looked, just looked dead way worse than it does now and it was trying to take over this whole bed so I'm sure it will come back even stronger once it gets a good soaking and rain on it it should be good to go for the most part, I had already swept these, um, the landscape fabric, but when my girls pulled out all of the basil plants, it kind of made a mess. And so this is just me uh, sweeping up the aisles again and pushing the soil back into the in-ground garden bed. And then there was some basil plants that we had left and I didn't know, and so I just pushed them inside of a bed. I wanted to keep this bed an in-ground bed but the soil like the, f the floor is not even going towards the back it really slopes down and so when we have heavy rainfalls not only is there like puddling in the middle of the landscape fabric but then also going down the soil kind of gets washed away underneath the landscape fabric because i made this bed and then put the landscape fabric i made the whole garden and then put the landscape fabric after so sometimes we have soil erosion and it just like washes away so I just found these two cinder blocks we had sitting around and I was just thinking about it and wondering, should I, like I put these, I put one right here and then one at the side and I'm just wondering, should I turn this, like should I put cinder blocks going all the way down? They are really heavy. <laughs> That's the downside is that they are heavy. I would have to go pick them up because we don't have enough laying around. Um, and we don't have any wood. I would use wood, but I don't have any wood, extra wood hanging around to build. And I'm wondering, do I like the look of just making this whole row put cinder blocks? And that way, I, I when I add soil, it won't wash away because the cinder blocks will be there. I think that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. I was just looking it up and I think I like that look. Then we'll have the metal raised beds, the wood raised beds, and the log raised beds. And then these concrete, la this concrete that would make it a raised bed. I would add some more soil because we do have some garlic growing down there. Elephant garlic that I was wondering why I have so many elephant garlic growing um that i met i was like did i miss all this elephant garlic and i was looking in my pantry and wondering why i didn't have a lot of garlic this season this year and it's because i don't think i ever harvested my elephant garlic i the kitty's here i um started to harvest it it wasn't ready and so i left it and then i think i just kind of forgot about it and didn't harvest it and so there all of the elephant garlic and then it kind of just washed the like greens just went away and I didn't see it anymore so it was like out of sight out of mind because now all of the garlic is sp sprouting especially down there that whole green patch right there is like five elephant garlics clumped together and I'm gonna leave them because it seems like the plants that you leave and you don't plant on purpose they do the best and the ones that you actually try and grow like don't work out and so I'm just gonna leave them because they planted themselves and they're sprouting themselves and just gonna see what happens um and then as far as this if i add the cinder blocks i was what i was thinking was i could add more soil because that garlic is kind of at the top of the at the top of the soil it's not really covered i did have to try and pile some soil on top of it just to keep it covered because they were exposed bulbs so that's what i'm thinking i'm gonna have to continue to think on that some more on because I think that bed is about 40 feet and if I was to do that I would need probably about 
close to 70, I would say, cinder blocks because I would need each side, when I just count it, would probably need about 36 and then one on each end. <sighs> and that's a lot because they're like $2 each. We need to take a peek inside of the hoop house because earlier I saw a surprise and I was like, oh, I can't wait to show you guys. Tomato that hasn't died. I saw, I'm pretty sure, I forgot what this was called now. It was like either a Grand Marshal, but it has one here and it has a couple baby ones here and then all of the tomatoes that i transplanted the spicy peppers are actually that i left because they just had so many flowers on them actually started producing more peppers in here and i didn't even realize so most of these were jalapeno peppers but that was so exciting yeah look the other exciting thing is this broccoli. It's gotten huge since we planted it in here. We are keeping it watered. The, all the cabbages seem to be doing good except for that one, which looks like, oh yeah, it's, whoa, aphids. Okay, we'll spray that, but no, that one has, Okay, we'll have to get in here and spray, wash those off. But the broccoli has gotten huge. We have a bunch of beet sprouts, and then whatever I planted here that I don't remember. And then we have all of our snap peas growing. just looked up the weather because it's been really overcast all day today and it's supposed to rain for the next three or four days starting tonight so i think that's the perfect time to plant seeds the beds are freshly uh with some compost on top of them i have a bunch of seeds um i was sorting through my seeds today so i know that i have a bunch of seeds and a lot are from like 2016 2017 so i just went ahead and grabbed like all of my older seeds which were and then that could I could plant now, which are purple carrots. And these are just, let's see, purple carrots. I have a red carrot. I have this yellow carrot, which actually isn't that old. But when I got the purple and the red, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just balance it out with this yellow because I do have another yellow. And I still have so many more carrot seeds that I can save for the springtime. And then I planted, these are short day onions. I live in South Carolina. If you're not familiar, zone 8B, we need short day onions. I went to my farm store last year. I planted farm store onions and I also planted um, onions from Dixondale Farms. And then the onions from Dixondale Farms, a lot of them did not make it because the week after I planted them, it got down to 17 degrees. And onions can't, and I covered them. I covered both of uh, the farm store onions and the Dixondale onions. And onions can get down to like 22 degrees and be fine because the, the year before that, they were fine. But only if they're established, really established. And since I had only planted those a week beforehand or like 10 days beforehand, they weren't really established. And so even though I had them covered, a lot of them died. But the farm store ones that I had planted the month before survived. So I do have this packet of um, short day onions. And I'm going, it says it does a whole, this packet sells up to 32 feet. These beds are eight feet um, long, two by eight, which is exactly 32 feet. So I'm gonna do one bed of that. Then I just got some flowers because I had so many of these flowers, which were the snapdragons and then bachelor buttons. These are old seeds as well because I got them from the Dollar Tree. So very cheap um, and they do good in the cool weather, both of these. And then these are not old seeds, but I didn't plant these types of beets yet. I just got them in the mail from Haas Tools when Haas Tools had a 50% off and I've never planted them before. They're the Avalanche Beet and the Touchstone Gold Beet. And so I planted Golden Boy inside of the hoop house. I'm going to plant some beets out here too. So I have a bed of beets, a bed of onions, so that's two. I'm going to do some bachelor buttons, three. So one, two, three. I'll do two beds of carrots and then a bed of onions. And I think that will complete 
that would probably plant all. I'm just going to sprinkle it, so let's go. Sprinkling these seeds was definitely giving me spring feels, even though we are literally almost in winter. Um, but it was so warm outside. It was like 83 degrees today, and it's been 83 degrees for the past two days. And I think for the rest of the week, it's going to be in the 80s. That sprinkling these seeds is making me feel think of spring and I just can't wait um, until next year when all of these beds are filled and lush and I'm really excited. Didn't use all of the seeds um, for all of them but I do use all of the snapdragons and the bachelor buttons and like I said those are from the Dollar Tree so those are fine and they were the oldest ones. I still have all the rest of my seeds but I did plant like only ones that I did measure out were the beets because they were big enough for me to just see where I was putting them but everything else I just sprinkled wishy 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 uh, to cover it and it's gonna rain the next three or four days and that's gonna be awesome. Now we have our asparagus we have our snapdragons here we have some carrots here, we have bachelor buttons here, more carrots here, carrots here, then I planted the beets in this bed, and in this one planted the onions, and the onions as well, I did try and space them out properly because it said it did a whole bed, so we'll see once those come up. Definitely plant better to have seeds in them. Uh, the other option I was thinking I had my cover crops uh, seeds out and I'm like, you know, I could just go ahead and plant food instead of cover crop. I could use the cover crop for uh, these garden beds that Aiden has already put soil like in these. I could use plant cover crops there if I wanted to or just save them for another time. But I'm like, I have the seeds. I have a bunch of seeds I can just use them and plant out these forever garden beds since they are nicely filled and they look amazing right now and I'm just so excited about them okay, I am going to head inside today we are it's almost dinner you can't really tell that the Sun is setting but since daylight saving times happened sun has been setting at 5 30 so it is right around five o'clock so dinner time i'll see you guys later